Hello everyone. Welcome to Mathematics, Physics, Mathematical Physics Channel. Today, we're gonna start an amazing chapter in our channel which is called, One Problem at a Time, Mathematical Physics Edition. In each episode of this series, we introduce a conceptual problem in the context of mathematical physics and discuss it. Here is the first episode where we deal with the first problem. So, let's do this. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you won't miss future episodes. Keep in mind that the aim of this channel is to represent the beauty of mathematics and physics, and the pure connection between them. So, watch other videos on our channel, and support us with your comments and suggestions. Today, our job is to prove that Lorentz transformations preserve the Minkowski metric. This problem, basically, turns into the problem of proving that this equation is held. In this relation, lambda is the Lorentz transformation, and lambda superscript with t means the transpose of the Lorentz transformation. G is the Minkowski metric. You might have seen this metric in different conventions, like this. In order to solve this problem, we start from the fact that the change of the coordinate system does not change the physics of the problem. So, Lorentz transformation does not change the norm of a point in space-time. Imagine a point x in space-time, or may say the event x. We call the Lorentz transformed of the point x by x prime. So, x prime can be connected to x by the Lorentz transformation. Now, we equate the Minkowski norms of these two points. By employing the definition of the Minkowski norm, we can write each norm by the use of the metric and the components of each space-time for a vector. Here, we use the definition of the Lorentz transformation for the components of x prime in this relation, and substitute the components of x prime in this equation. We rearrange this term by moving the components of x to the rightmost side. Thus, we end up with this equation. Here is important. x is completely arbitrary and can be chosen to be any point in the four-dimensional Minkowski vector space, which is called M4. So, this equality is held for all x belonging to M4. Hence, we can cancel the component of x from both sides. The equation boils down to this form. We rearrange the right-hand side and swap the left and right-hand sides. Now, we have this equation. Now, consider the components of the 4x4 four four matrix representation of the Lorentz transform on the leftmost part. We can give the same components by the components of the transpose matrix if we interchange or swap the indices for rows and columns. This means that we doubly swapped the rows and columns of the matrix, so we get the same components. This expression is generally the dot product of three tensors, or the matrix product of their representations. In matrix language, this can be written as, lambda transpose g lambda is equal to g. With this, I finalize our proof and conclude this episode. Don't forget to let me know your comments about this proof or if you have any concerns about it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell, so you won't miss future episodes. Keep in mind that the aim of this channel is to represent the beauty of mathematics and physics, and the pure connection between them. So, watch other videos on our channel, and support us with your comments and suggestions. See you next time.